Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough in the Scarlet Keys campaign run with Kumani Jones. Uh, we are at Alexandria and uh, we decided to travel to Constantinople for the next scenario. So that is basically all the globetrotting done this time. So uh, we got four experience from the last scenario. So let's look at uh, what we upgraded from the deck. And we are over on ArkhamDB.com, so there are two cards I changed into the deck, so the Moon uh, and uh, Thief's Kit level 3. Nothing else. I removed uh, Perception, because I really don't need most uh, the Intellect icons most of the time. And of course, replacing the Thief's Kit level 0 with the level 3. So that is all changes to the deck. We probably want to uh, start upgrading uh, Chuck Fergus and uh, maybe some good better events or stuff like that. But I, I really hope to get a bit more experience out of this scenario. But we'll see how this goes. So let's hop back over to the world map. So uh, we are in Constantinople. So the scenario is dealings in the dark, so without further delay, let's jump into the scenario and let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin the scenario, dealing in the, uh, dealings in the dark, so um, during setup we had to reveal one uh, cultist from the uh, deck, then uh, shuffle the rest of the discarded cards back into the deck. Uh, then uh, all of these acolytes gain the concealed one uh, per the uh, agenda deck. So we have concealed it here with two cards. One is an acolyte, one is a, a decoy. And uh, in this scenario, whenever we place Doom on a um, card uh, or acolyte, Let's see, so after one or more Doom is placed on a cultist enemy, flip them to their crew side. If an enemy has more than three crews on it, move the crews in excess of three to the clues unveiled below. The number of clues possessed by the cultist is equal to the number of clues on cultist enemies in play, plus the number of clues on clues unveiled below. So we need to, um, in this scenario, find four clues before the cultist do, so that we can advance before the cultist do. Simple enough, but uh, let's draw our opening hand and start. Oh yeah, and uh, in the uh, interlude or, or the intro, we made a deal with Esse, so we are giving up the artifact after the scenario. We are not deceiving Esse or anything like that. I just wanted to add one uh, tablet token to the back rather than have Elder Thing tokens, but we'll see if that pays out in the long run. But uh, we'll see. Uh, so, drawing our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. Backstab, uh, breaking and entering, Postion Bargain, or Keyring. We redraw that. The Moon. Okay, we'll, that's good. But I think we are taking a bit of a risk. So, we'll. Get rid of these. So drawing three. Dirty fighting this guy's lucky cigarette case. Well, okay. We'll have to make do with those. So quick shuffle. And we are ready to start. Uh, do we want the dirty fighting into play? Well, uh, the moon comes into play immediately, so we have plus one already. I think this is a setup turn, so we'll put uh, lucky cigarette case into play. We'll put 
all keyring into play. And uh, we'll save this for later. Last action we will investigate using the old keyring. Uh, investigating uh, 2 versus 0. It is a zero, so we'll grab this clue. That is our whole turn, and we succeeded, so by two or more. So we draw a card, we get the flashlight. Uh, now enemy actions will go to upkeep, we draw lock picks, and we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda, and counterpart for this round is. We start off the order. Okay, spawn. Uh, so this also has concealed one, so we do this. And that goes in there. It will get one uh, clue on it. So we really need to find this guy. So I'm just putting these onto the same location, so we'll just try to fish out this enemies as fast as possible. Okay. Uh, first action, we will evade one of these mini cards. No, uh, first action, we'll play... Lock. No. Uh, we'll play Dirty Fighting. Uh, where should I put it? Over here. Then I will evade the mini card. Plus one. Uh, we'll pick this one. It is a decoy. We'll evade the second mini card here. Uh, five versus two. Minus one. So uh, we find the acolyte. So at least that's something. So the Acolyte engages us and uh, we'll go to the enemy face. So this uh, Acolyte hits us for one damage. That is it. So we'll go to upkeep. We draw Oya yeah, and uh, I drew a card with the Lucky Cigarette case. Then I'll draw Chuck Fergus and we gain a resource. So. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we'll put one doom onto the agenda. Encounter card is a uh, costed scheme revelation. If there are no cultist enemies in play, take one damage and a costed get search. Otherwise, find the cultist enemy nearest to you, place one doom on that enemy, and test agility X, where X is that enemy's evade value. If you fail, take two damage. Well, uh, we'll put one clue on this guy. Then we'll test uh, agility. So, two. So we are six versus two. Easy pass. So we'll uh, trigger the lucky cigarette case. Draw a card. Inter report. Well, that's interesting. Okay, uh, first action. So, uh, let's see. How do we get this clue off of this guy? Have to evade a cultism and return the shadows and take, uh, take control one of its clues. Yeah, this case. One. Okay, so we just want to defeat this guy, so we'll evade. No, I will. We'll use this to hit. Uh, we are hitting, I'm actually using. We have another. Uh, yeah, committing the 
kicking the hornet's nest to this, so we are 6 7 versus 3 0. We'll defeat this acolyte, and these are gone. Okay, let's move over here, and uh, we will first reveal this location. There's one clue here, and we will try to wait. For the last action. So we succeed, it is a man one, and we find the wizard of the order. And the last decoy goes away. Okay, well. <clears throat> We'll go to the villain phase. This enemy hits us for one damage. I'll put it on to SS Ahim. Can she do? Yeah, we'll just use her as a soak, basically. Okay, that is the villain phase done, or the enemy phase done, and we'll go to upkeep, draw a card. French code and again a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Three of four. Oh, uh, doom not a two. Encounter card is a uh, sinister aspirant. So this goes to the shadows. Uh, it's the A version. Put them like so, then... So, af at the end of the enemy phase, if Sinister Aspirant is, is ready, place one Doom on it. Okay, but we need to find that guy. First off, uh, we'll... Evade this guy. I am 6 versus 2. It is a uh, minus three. If you fail, place one of your clues on your location. We don't fail. Okay, grab it. this. This goes here, and we have to figure out where this guy heads up. So we will shuffle these again. Okay. Second action, we will uh, just buy one clue from here. Uh, with the Intel report. And we will... Move over here. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we'll go to. I think I forgot to add one here. We'll go to the enemy phase, no enemies, that guy gets a doom, so it turns into a clue. And that is it, so we draw a card, sneak by, and we gain a resource. 
not, not a clue a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and um, we start by adding a doom. So this advances. So the day deems and you strain your eyes to examine why a strange black shape has begun to pour its way over the outline of the sun and eclipse. But uh, whatever this cult is up to, you better start it soon. In the play order, each investigator must choose either place one clue from the token pool in clues unveiled, or search the encounter deck and discard part for a cultist enemy and draw it. If no cultist enemy is found, place one clue on the clues unveiled instead. Shuffle the encounter deck if it is searched. Mm. Well, I'll just uh, add one to to a call this thing to play or clue. I go, uh, sorry, it goes into the uh, unveiled the unveiling clues unveiled instead. Okay. Then we'll draw an encounter card. Ancient Evils. So, yeah, this. There's one from the Ancient Evils there. And that is the encounter face. Well, there are four clues, so that unfortunately advances. So, let's see. Uh, if an, either the cult or investigators of any locations possess the required number of clues, cool. Oh, yeah, this guy gets one advance. So, if the cult reaches the clue threshold first, you discover what you believe to be the talisman resting place and find it's already torn apart. Resting on the ground nearby is a torn up manuscript which you hastily begin to restore. Uh, in either case, resolve the concealed keyword of on each non-weakness call this enemy not already in the shadows. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and set aside arm for our bringer emissary to the against enemies in the encounter deck. Proceed to act two set up in the campaign guide. So let's see. So set each of the current locations aside without discarding any cards or so at those locations, those locations along with cards and tokens and those locations are not considered to be in play during Act 2. So these locations go away, but these stay on them. And these are all also out of play. Then we'll do the act to set up. So they will re enter later. So shuffle the Grand Bazaar location, remove one of them from the game brand at random. Detect these Grand Bazaar locations. Shuffle. So this is removed. Then um, reveal a random token from the chaos pack and find the diagram below. Just random location is uh, let's see. it is uh, minus one. So we get this uh, shape of the bazaar. Okay. There is the bazaar, and uh, then move each investigator to the Grand Bazaar location marked with random chosen diagrams at the entrance, so it's here. So, to shroud one clue, increase the difficulty to fight or evade each concealed mini card at this location by two. 
okay shuffle together each of the non concealed mini cars on the four locations from act one and divide them as evenly as possible among the grand bazaar locations they you are now ready to proceed to act two okay so these <coughs> these are in play actually now again So we'll grab these, uh, shuffle them, and we need to start finding these collides or enemies. Okay. Then search for the talisman. According to the manuscript, the talisman was discovered somewhat recently by the third party and brought to the Grand Bazaar as a valuable item to the be sold. Can't let this happen. Objective: find the talisman before the cult does it. Either the cult or investigators at the location designed as the east gate possess the required number of clues. A group advance. Do not spend any clues when doing so. And it, uh, the threshold is eight, so that is bad. Oh yeah, and when this advanced, we placed one uh, eclipse token. On it. So let's not forget that. Actually, using these. Okay, so this is done, and um, let's see. So first thing we do here is to uh, investigate. We need the clues. And I'm using the old key ring. Do I want to use that? I can play other items later. So I'm using the old key ring. So we are searching 2 versus 0. It is a minus 3. If you, you may play, well, we don't. So we'll just succeed. And this is discarded. And uh, then we will evade. I'll commit this. So eight. Uh, I'm I'm not committing. I'm playing it. So we get two resources. Eight. Per, uh, I mean six versus two. Uh, skull is X the highest number of clues on a cultist enemy. So we still succeed. And it is a decoy, of course, it is. Fast action, we will move over here. So, uh, two shroud, one clue per investigator. You, while you are at this location, treat the text box of each weapon as a control as if it were blank, except for trades. Well, we are not packing any weapons, so that's okay. And that is it, so we go to. Enemy face, well, this enemy gets one here. Upkeep, we draw a tukophobia, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card is. Seeing shadows comes into play. That's not nice. Okay, um, we'll play lockpicks. We'll use lock picks. Yeah, this enemy is gaining clues all the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're investigating with the lock pick. So we are six, seven, eight uh, versus two. We succeed. Minus three. So we still need three, so I think the cultist will advance before us. Uh, we'll uh, try to uh, evade one of these uh, concealed cards here. 
One of two, we succeed, so we get this uh, side of the order to play with us. It doesn't help us that much. Okay, well, uh, enemy face, the enemy hits us for one damage. Upkeep, this guy gets one doom, so... Uh, I mean, clue, so this actually goes here. So, uh, we advance. Talisman discovered. So, if the cult reads the cult clue treasure first, attach the twisted antiprison key to the cultist enemy with the most clues. So, I think it was this. I, or we can just choose it to be this one. Put the location from Act 1 that were pro previously set aside back into play with Haga Sophia to the left and to the entrance and Grand Bazaar. These two locations are connected. Okay. Just shuffling. Okay, so this is connected to this enemy. <coughs> then we'll get this here, this here, this uh, over here, and this over here. And uh, we get the Galata Dogs into play, and it's connected over here. And uh, if the cult reads the clue treasure first, for every one or more clues they had that the investigators move the cultist enemy with the twisted antiprison once toward Galatadox. So <coughs> this enemy, let's just mark it. One, two, uh, they had eight, so one, two, three. So it's not played with us. Okay, each investigator and cultist enemy loses each of their clues. Flip the uh, unveiling. Flip the unveiling story card over to its other side, removing all clues from its advanced act and agenda directly to the chase if it is the both current act and current agenda. So we get this uh, the chase. So, objective uh, get this thing out of here if an investigator with a twisted anti person is at the Galata docks, you may proceed to resource one. Uh, don't let them get away with the key if an enemy with the twisted. Antiprism is at the uh, Galacta Docks. Proceed to resolution 6. So we need to uh, reach there before this cultist does. The chase, it is. it has a doom threshold of uh, 3. So I'll just put it over here. And that is that. So Let's go to the upkeep, we draw a card, post the bargain, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda. Encounter card is hunting shadow, we must take two damage because we don't have any clues. Just take two damage on myself. That is it, so... Okay, we need to 1, 2, 3, move. Then, oh yeah, this needs to be flipped. And, uh, it's non-weakness enemy against hunter, prey, investigator, twist anti-prism. If the twist anti-prism is attached to the, that enemy, it instead gains patrol, Galata dogs. 
post when one or more doom would be placed on an enemy. If it is instead moved and attacks as if it were the enemy phase, that exhausting. Post after non weakness enemy attacks and investigator with the twisted anti prism and that uh, attach the twisted anti prism to that enemy and step side phase up, then uh, that enemy shifts it. Um, so after you evade or defeat the enemy with twisted anti prism, take control of the twisted anti prism attaching it to your investigator. So what we need to do is to move, move, move. And uh, oh yeah, this gains one, so it moves once here. So unfortunately, we are out of time. We can't catch up to it because it's patrolling next round or at the end of this round. So too bad. Um, nothing really we can do. Well, it is what it is. Um, we'll go to the enemy phase. So, patrol, this goes here. And... Uh, okay, if an enemy with a twisted anti-prism is at Calade Dogs, proceed to resolution 6. So, we'll go to resolution 6. And that is the end. Let's see. Uh, we, uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the display. The red glove man is the bearer of the twisted anti prism. The campy lock accordingly. Mark two time to the campy lock. You may embark. So, we unfortunately gain only one uh, resource from this scenario. That is not really good. Or, I mean, one experience, and that is from this location. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we were unable to grab the key from from that uh, wizard of the order. Uh, he just got too quick of a head start to the Gal Galata dogs. If we would have uh, reached that enemy by some means and uh, gained the item, that uh, we probably would have uh, won this scenario. But it was not meant to be. But Still, uh, next time we will embark to some other location. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.